A former Chattanooga priest who served our community nearly 150 years ago is being considered for sainthood. Coming up on Thursday, the Basilica of St. Peter and Paul Church in Chattanooga will host a special event to begin the initiation of cause for sainthood for Father Patrick Ryan. Riley Nagel met with the church's deacon and tells us how this all began. A deacon in uh, Knoxville carved that for us, uh, uh, a little bust of him, of Father Ryan. In preparation of the cause for sainthood, Father Patrick Ryan's remains have been moved into the basilica. One of the few bits of words we have preserved was I th basically the words, bury me with my people in Chattanooga. So in that sense, we, we, we're, we're, <laughs> we brought him back from Eastridge and, <laughs> and buried him here. Deacon Gaspar de Gaetano has been the driving force for eight years, researching and collecting documents to find the evidence of Father Patrick Ryan's influence in Chattanooga. By keeping his name alive in the community, that's what motivated me when I was transferred here from St. Jude uh, eight years ago to say, hey, let's look into the possibility of cause for sainthood. Father Ryan served as a priest in Chattanooga from 1872 to 1878. In his last year, the yellow fever virus struck Chattanooga. And when it hit, Ryan stayed behind. About 85% of the, of, the, of the population head for the hills, you know, disappeared uh, because people were afraid, you know, of contagion and all that. Knowing the risk of death, Ryan chose to stay. He contracted yellow fever, passing away in 1878 at the age of 33. So, but he stayed behind and, 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 and ministered to the people like a good priest should. And so that's where his offering of life comes in. The offering of life is one of three ways someone can be selected for sainthood. There are less than two dozen saints in the U.S. and zero in Tennessee. So it's very, it's very official, um, but it's a great privilege too, to finally bring it in. You know, it's been eight years, but uh, it's, it's gone fast. It's been great. Day Gaetano has compiled 1,900 pages of his research, which will be sealed during Thursday's ceremony. Then a week later, he'll travel to Rome, delivering his findings to a department of the Vatican in Rome, the cause for saints. On, on the 4th, I'm going to make the actual uh, presentation to, uh, to the, well, it's not going to be a presentation type presentation, just like here it is. There are several levels before the title of saint is official. Right now, Father Ryan is at the first level called Servant of God. De Gaetano says if all goes well in Rome, Ryan will eventually become what's called venerable. After that, Ryan could reach the level of blessed, which is the last level before sainthood. So yeah, it'll be historic. Um, because it's the first and only time that this has happened, you know, that will be in Tennessee anyway. Reporting in Chattanooga, I'm Riley Nagel, Local 3 News. And the public is encouraged to attend the ceremony. It's Thursday at 530 at the Basilica of Saints Peter and Paul.